नमस्ते वेलकम टू स्मार्ट इंडिया हाकथॉन 2023 ग्रैंड फिनाले ये समस्या पैदा दिखा दो अलग नहीं ये परिश्रमों चिन्नदी कोड़ा कहा दो ये दे इस स्मार्ट इंडिया हाकथॉन निनादम दानी नी नड़ी पिंचे सिद्धांतम स्मार्ट इंडिया हाकथॉन रेपटी नवीन भारतम आधुनिक सांकेतिकता स्मार्ट इंडिया साधन कोसम आविर अनुनित्यम यदुर कुंटना अनेका दायनंदिना संस्कृता समस्यलकु चक्कनी परिश्कारालन साधिंचे अद्भुत जातियस्ताई प्लेटफॉर्म। रेंडु भागलगा सॉफ्टवेयर हार्डवेयर एडिशनलगा जरिगना स्मार्ट इंडिया हैक धानलोनी मोदिटी भागम सॉफ्टवेयर एडिशन गुरिंची फर्स्ट टेप्स वर्लो तेल्स कुना। ईरोज मनंचोड� प्रेक्षकोलकु तिल्सिंदे हार्डवेर एडिशन मात्रम वक्के वक्क कालेजिलो जरिकिंदी नगरोंलोनी नल्लमलारेडी कालेज ओफ इंजिनेरिंग प्रांगनलो डिसिम्बर पंधुमीदिन प्रारम्भुमै आइदु रोजुरु पाट्टु जरिगी इरवय मूडि केंदर गनुल स्याक इच्चुना प्राब्लुम स्टेट्मेंट्स मात्रमे एकुगा प्राधान्यानी संत्रेंच कुनाई मत्तुम् याभहेदु हार्डवेर प्राब्लुम स्टेट्मेंट्लु इहाग दानलो परिश्कारं कोसं उच्चिनटलु तिलिस्तोंदी � इकपोते इए एपिसोड लो मन मुख्यंगा नल्ल मल्ला रेड्डी कॉलेज लो जरिगिना हार्ड्वेर एडिशन गुरिंची तेलिस्कुन्टुन्ना एन्नी ग्रूपुल ओच्छाई, एन्नी आविश्करनलु जरिगाई, एन्नी अम्सालनु परिश्करिंचारू, अन्नी अम्स्यालनु समग्रंगा तिलिस्कोडम् कार्मीकुलु गनिलो तवकुन सागिस्तुन समयलो आ प्रांतुल्लो मुडिलो हुँ ए विधंगा उन्दी ए परिमाणलो उन्दी ए प्रांतुल्लो अधिकंगा उन्दी दानि क्वालिटी ए स्थायलो उन्दी मोदलेन Uh, we are team High Flyers from Thapar University, Patiala. We are third year students and we are working on a problem statement provided by Ministry of Mines to us. So what exactly our problem statement states us to do is we are given a location where mining is going on and a ore body model of that location is prepared. What is a ore body model? A ore body model is a simple 3D model which contains data of what quality of ore is present at what location and at what depth and uh, few other information about ore, about um, what is its quality, what uh, how economically viable the ore is and etc. etc. So now what exactly do we need to do with the ore body data? While uh, so when the mining is going on, the person present at the mining site or the miner has few equipments with him or her that that person uses to uh, go down or penetrate inside the mine site. Now what that person does is uh, he or she has his previous experience and using his visuals he or she decides whether uh, they should go deeper inside or uh, they should uh, stop mining at that site only. But now what we want to do is we want to automate this thing. We want machine learning to come inside the view of this so that using photos and using sensors we can automatically find out if the ore being mined out is of good quality and should we continue further in the mining process or not. For this process uh, we are going to use several machine learning and deep learning algorithms that my friend Vabha will be explaining. Alright, so there are basically two main data sources. One is from the spectro sensor uh, and other sensors. So that is our numerical data of the composition of the compounds. And it is a rough estimate of the compounds. The other data we have is the visual data from the shape of the ore, the color of the ore and the texture of the ore. 
So what we do is, is that we apply artificial intelligence uh, using image processing and basically we try to estimate what is the quality of the ore having this particular size, color and this composition. They are the Lu, Jarkand MIT University Chu Chair. Virki Goda Ganula Sake problem statement Tichindi. Adimitante Varsha Kalolo Kondakonolo Nelakune Ananukula Paristitulo Ganulalo Kelakungo Pepade Ati Bhari Vahanalnu Yantralnu Yella operate Chiali Danikitakina Parishkara Margalu Kanagonomani Kendra Ganula Mantrutu Seka Korindi Dinipai E. Brundun Sabiru Tevringa Krishesi Kondakonalu Sunaya Senga Sansarincharanki Sarikota Namunalo Woka Wahanu Namunan Kuda Tayarchi Ser Mari Wari team leader Dinipai Yen Chiptunadu Tilskundama My name is Jeet and uh, I am team leader of Team Hacktivist and these are my team members uh, Pushkar, Abhishek, Aditya, Rajiv and Tanvi and we all are from MIT University, Rachi, Jharkhand and my problem statement is that uh, how can we uh, automate the heavy uh, vehicles in the mines so, uh, so that it can travel without operators uh, so this is my prototype and 80% uh, is completed uh, we are working on the autonomous system of the prototype uh, here is the camera so that uh, we can use the image processing so that it can travel automatic automatically in the mines area as well as in highways. Viru Pune Engineering College Vidyarthalu. Viru problem statement koda Varsha Kalalo Ganula Tabakala Samelo Bhari Vahanala Rakapokalaku Tagina Sanke Tikatu and Nichadam. Mari. We are team hydromineics from Pimbridge Inchword College of Engineering, Pune. So, the problem statement which was allotted by SIS was related to the mining issues which are faced by the auto hauling trucks. So, we, uh, there were several issues regarding the visibility problems to the drivers uh, while driving the uh, uh, trucks. Uh, there were uh, several other issues of uh, loader and dumper, coll dumper collisions. So to, so to tackle those issues, we have used several technologies, uh, which include the radar technology, GPS, also uh, auto hauling systems, uh, part detection and defogging. So, uh, so we have uh, interfaced uh, AIML in our project. Uh, we have made a prototype of our project. You, uh, it is uh, in front of this. So we have used radar technology, which will be giving uh, visualization to the driver uh, to avoid uh, the collision. We have also used mutual sharing of uh, their locations using GPS. It will be used uh, to mutually share the location between the uh, trucks and to avoid collision between them. It can be useful. We have also used a de uh, defogging uh, algorithm in machine, uh, using machine learning. So it will be uh, continuously mapping uh, the uh, using a camera which will map the, uh, the video and it will give a defogged video to the driver and it will be helpful for him to get a good visibility of the uh, path. Ikkada kanipisthani Brundu Sabhilu ee amsimpai research chesthunar tilsa idhi koda kendra ganula mantrithu saak ichi na amsime ganula tavakala samay lo chali nantamandhi karmikulu sibbandhi lena pudu mudi inumunu yela dump chayali dinipai tamma Brundu Sabhilu yelanti krishu chesya ro Dini kita kena periskaran yang lakukan guna ro team leader Saili Bansure Vivrastanaru Windam. My name is Saili Bansure and here is my team Tech Fusion Titans along with our mentor and we are at the grand finale of Smart India Hackathon 2023 Hardware Edition. Which is Smart India Hackathon is a great initiative by the government of India and AICTE where the thousands of students and the hundreds of organizations are participating in the competition to solve the major issues which, uh, which we face uh, in our country currently. So our problem statement is regarding the Ministry of Mines where we are trying to automate the haulage of dumpers uh, in the adequacy of the, uh, of the workers. So basically, uh, uh, as we all know, uh, in the uh, in the month of September, uh, uh, in the month of October, uh, in the Uttarakhand, uh, the incident was occurred uh, at the at the tunnel. So, uh, uh, 42 workers uh, were trapped in the tunnel, which was a major 
disaster we can say and uh, to solve such problems we uh, the team like us have come, uh, came up with various kind of solutions so my team has uh, uh, built a solution where we are trying uh, to build a technology similar to self driving cars so as we all know self driving cars which detects the uh, uh, path or to to, uh, to uh, they avoid the obstacles automatically uh, without any operator so we are trying to uh, implement the same technology in the dumpers uh, which will not only save the life of workers but it will also uh, implement uh, implement the mining process very safely veeru chandigarh university vidyarthulu veer kichina problem statement kuda ganula prantallo varsha kala samayallo bhari yantralanu ela teesukelalanade mari deeni pai vari pariskaram ela undo వారి మాటల్లోనే విందాం మై నేమ్ ఇస్ సామ్ ఎమ్ మల్హోత్రా అండ్ ఆ టీమ్ ఇస్ టెక్నో ట్యూనర్స్ అండ్ వీఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ చండీగఢ్ యూనివర్సిటీ చండీగఢ్ సో ఆ ప్రాబ్లమ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇస్ వెన్ దే వెన్ ఎవర్ దేర్ ఇస్ అ మైనింగ్ ఏరియా సో ద వర్క్ స్టాప్స్ దే ఫర్ ఫోర్ టు ఫైవ్ మంత్స్ అండ్ ఫర్ దాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ప్రపోజ్ అ సొల్యూషన్ ఫర్ ద రెయినీ సీజన్ సో వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ డన్ ఇస్ దాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ మేడ్ దిస్ Uh, hardware devices one of these would be in the base station and the other would be installed in the trucks that work in the mining area that is also a part of a solution that we are working on for the sharp turns we have also made a user interface that would be installed on the driver's uh, display so that he can be guided well about the solution about the weather and the forecasting would also be there so this is what we are working on and i hope so that a solution would be helpful for the government as well as for the society thank you ee brindham sabhilu delhi technological university vidyarthulu veeri parishodhana amsham kuda ganulu sekade ganullo tavi tisina mudi loha padarthalanu baitiki tarlinchadullo keelaka paatra poshinchedi conveyor belt aithe appudapudu aa belt lo anuhyam yerpade samasyalu lopalu utpatti ki aatankanga maartayi anduvalla కన్వేయర్ బెల్ట్లో ఏర్పడే ఈ లోపాలను ముందే గుర్తించడం ఎలా వాటికి తక్షణ రిపేర్ ఏమిటి అన్న అంశంపై వీరు ఎలాంటి పరిష్కారం కనుగొన్నారో టీమ్ లీడర్ శిఖరాజ్ బేరీ వివరిస్తున్నారు విందాం మై నేమ్ ఇస్ శిఖరాజ్ బేరీ అండ్ ఐఎమ్ ది టీమ్ లీడర్ ఫర్ అవర్ టీమ్ జిఎఫ్ అండ్ టెకీస్ అండ్ వీఆర్ కమింగ్ హియర్ ఫ్రమ్ ఢిల్లీ టెక్నాలజికల్ యూనివర్సిటీ ఆ ప్రాబ్లమ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇస్ అన్ప్రిడిక్టబుల్ వేర్ అండ్ టేర్ ఇన్ కన్వేయర్ బెల్ట్స్ అండ్ ప్రిడిక్టింగ్ ద హెల్త్ ఆఫ్ ద సేమ్ ఫర్ టైమ్లీ రిపేర్స్ టు రిడ్యూస్ ఓవర్ హెడ్స్ so for to explain a basic working we are we'll be using sensor integration along with computer vision models to be able to detect errors errors and defects in the conveyor belts in real time and then furthermore predict at what point these belts will go into critical and then repair them in time for one ex- we'll be using pressure sensors which will be de- which which will be which will be detecting any overloading on the belt we will be using ultrasonic sensors which will be then telling us the thickness of the belt the tension of the belt and other parameters and then we'll also be using an ultrason an infrared sensor which will be telling us the temperature of the belt and of the motor running the belt this will help us monitor different conditions of the belt and then tell us what and tell us when repairs are necessary sariga maro brindham kuda conveyor belt samasyal paine work chestundi kani idi maro konam sumaru 14.6 km lo padavunde conveyor belt కొండలు కోనలు దాటి సాగుతుంది సునాయసంగా గనుల నుంచి తవ్వితీసిన ముడి లోహాలను గమ్య స్థానాలకు చేరుస్తుంది అయితే అప్పుడప్పుడు కొని అననుకూల పరిస్థితుల్లో ఆకస్మికంగా బెల్ట్ తమ స్థానం నుంచి పక్కకు తప్పుకోవడంతో కన్వేయర్ పని ఆగిపోతుంది అందుకే ఈ అంశాన్ని ప్రాధాన్య అంశంగా తీసుకుని ఈ బృందం సభ్యులు పనిచేశారు మరి వీరి పరిష్కారాన్ని అడిగి తెలుసుకుందామా వి ఆర్ టీమ్ టెక్ మిలీనియల్స్ ఐ ఆమ్ పునీత్ రాంపి ద టీమ్ లీడర్ ఆఫ్ టెక్ మిలీనియల్స్ అండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ మై టీమ్ దిస్ ఈస్ యశ్వంత్ దిస్ ఈస్ సునీల్ సోనియా యశ్వత్ లిఖిత అండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ అవర్ మెంటల్ సాండ్రా మ్యామ్ సో వి ఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆర్ ఎంకే ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజ్ ఫ్రమ్ చెన్నై తమిళనాడు సో ఆర్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇస్ పిఎస్ ఐడి ఇస్ వన్ ఫైవ్ జీరో సెవెన్ విచ్ టాక్స్ అబౌట్ ది ఫ్రీక్వెంట్ డిస్లాజ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ కన్వేర్ బెల్ట్ అండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ప్రొడిక్ట్ ఇట్ So we are from Artificial Intelligence and Data Science Department and this is our first hardware hackathon. So, so far the progress has been very good. We have learned a lot about the hardware and working with the Arduino board. So as you know, we are talking about the prediction that too in the uh, recent era, everything is about Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. So we are also following the same, uh, same approach to predict the conveyable dislodgement. 
So you can see that a lot uh, there is a mine in Odisha which is managed by Ministry of Mines which has a 14.6 kilometers long conveyor belt. So the main problem here is that belt is along a hilly terrain and we have to predict the dislodgement. For that we are producing a two approaches which is based on past and the present data and the, our sensors will be lively monitoring the data and based on the live monitoring data we will be training a ML model which will predict the dislodgement. So there can be various reasons like temperature, vibrations and the moisture, uh, motor, motor temperatures and the speed of the belt. So also considering the long 14.6 kilometer belt it cannot be uh, predicted in a single go so we are dividing it into segments and we are doing it. Inka. विविध ग्रूपल मेंटर्स, एवेल्युएटर्स, कालेजी की संबंधिचन निपुणलु, अधिकारलु, अनाधिकारलु पुड़ा स्मार्ट इंडिया मार्धन पाई येन्नु विशेष चिपैर। मरी वारी माटल पुड़ा विंदा मा? स्मार्ट इंडिया हैकथन 2023, दिस वास इनिशिएटेड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड एआईसीटी ऑफ इंडिया। ई प्रोग्राम इंडिया लो उन्ना इनोवेशन टैलेंट नी बाईटिक दीसकुरावाली and at the same time मनक गवर्नमेंट लो मिनिस्ट्रीस डिवेरियस मिनिस्ट्रीस लो इंडस्ट्रीस लो उन्ना प्रॉब्लम्स वालकी चैलेंजेस गा इच्ची वाटकी सोल्यूशन्स पिल्लल कनुकुने विदंगा � the double line actually last year kana the yabai vela i mean yabai vela project groups all over india first e phase lo participate jayasthu naru dant lo e yabai vela mandi ministries actually i uh aidu vandala projects uh problem statements wal itchin ru itchina problem statements ki दादापुगा सागम रेंडो अंदला मुप्पाई कटे ओका प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट्स की सॉल्यूशन्स पिल्ला लीवा गलगेन रो दांत लो शॉर्टलिस्ट जैसी ओको का प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट की ओका आई दु टीम लनो शॉर्टलिस्ट जैसी फाइनल्स की सेलेक्ट जेडन्स अरेगिन्दे ना पेर डॉक्टर राजू अने नो इ नोडल सेंटर so, in the end, we are hosting a nodal center in the end. We are hosting that about the hardware edition. So, here we have 26 teams alert JCR. So, which they are working out on five problem statements. These five problem statements, one problem statement, five teams. And they are working on that problem statements. And this is evaluated by JCR. So, we called the jury members or experts from different industries so uh, to get the quality of this innovation we call the people from uh, different industries so first one hackathon start in the uh, central government uh, ministry of education innovation cell value initiate jesaru so idi oka prabhanjan laga mari so students ni etla attract jesin dante so voluntary ga students ochi valu प्रॉब्लम्स की सॉल्यूशंस फाइंड आउट चेस्ट होना रहेंगे। सो इकड़ा 2017 निंची एक्चुअल का ये इनोवेशन ना स्मार्ट इंडिया हैकेथन ने दिस स्टार्ट आये हैं दे। सो दान तरवाता 2022 लो जूनियर से गुड़ा विल लो हैकेथन स्टार्ट जैसे रे एट स्कूल लेवल। आई एम डॉक्टर सुनील वर्किंग एस प्रोफेसर wherein I was involved in calling the experts from various industries in order to guide and mentor these particular students. The experts were called from different uh, corporates like Wipro, Infosys. We have people from uh, Aluminium Nalco company from Orissa. These people were called for three days so that they can uh, mentor these participants while they are working on their uh, solutions and they will also evaluate these participants based on various parameters. The evaluation process goes for three days. The first day they will uh, do the evaluation process and they will also mentor. Similarly, the same will continue on day two as well as day three. Finally, we are going to announce based on the marks these evaluators are going to give, we are going to announce the prizes which will be five prizes each of rupee one lakh. These prizes will be given one for the problem statement. Basically, we have five problem statements and uh, 
for each problem statement we are going to provide or we are going to give a prize of rupee 1 lakh smart india hackathon mana desam garvinchadagga oka goppa shastra sankhitika udyama padam ee desa yuvataraniki kendra prabhutvam andinchina velakattaleni varam 2017 లో ప్రారంభమైన ఈ సైంటిఫిక్ ప్రస్థానం నిరంతరంగా నిరాటంకంగా కొనసాగుతూనే ఉంది ఈ విషయంలో మన ప్రధానమంత్రి శ్రీ నరేంద్ర మోదీ కృషిని చొరవను యువ విద్యార్థి లోకం సదా గుర్తుంచుకోవాలి సాథ్యో ఆజ్ యహా యంగ్ ఇన్నోవేటర్స్ ఆర్ అలగ్ అలగ్ డొమెన్స్ కే ప్రొఫెషనల్స్ మౌజూద్ హై ఆప్ సభి సమయ కా మహత్వ సమత్త హై तय समय में लक्ष्यों तक पहुंचने का मतलब समझते हैं आज हम समय के एक ऐसे मोड़ पर हैं जहां हमारा हर प्रयास अगले एक हजार साल के भारत की नींव को मजबूत करेगा आप इस यूनिक टाइम को समझे ये समय यूनिक इसलिए है क्योंकि कई फैक्टर्स एक साथ आए हैं आज भारत विश्व के सबसे युवा देशों में से एक है आज भारत में विश्व का सबसे बड़ा टैलेंट पूल है आज भारत में एक स्थिर और मजबूत सरकार है आज भारत की अर्थव्यवस्था रिकॉर्ड तेजी से आगे बढ़ रही है आज भारत में साइंस और टेक्नोलॉजी पर अभूतपूर्व बल दिया जा रहा है साथियों ये वो समय है जब टेक्नोलॉजी हमारी लाइफ का एक बहुत बड़ा पार्ट बन चुकी है हम सबके जीवन में टेक्नोलॉजी का जो प्रभाव आज है वो अतीत में कभी नहीं रहा स्थिति ये है कि एक टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ हम पूरी तरह सहज भी नहीं हो सके तब तक उसका एक अपग्रेडेड वर्जन आ जाता है इसलिए आप जैसे यंग इनोवेटर्स का रोल बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है